Uh, next up we have the SIG V Crown 115 grain 9 millimeter ammo test with the 3.1 inch Ruger LC9S and the SIG P365XL. Okay, 3.1 inch Ruger LC9S. Okay, we blew apart uh, number one here. A little part number two, pretty good. Well, there's a hole in three, through the back of three, into four, and it's in the bottom of number four. Okay, there's the 115 V crown in the bottom of the fourth jug. Again, this one got all the way into the fourth jug. And there it is. Okay, so that's the 115 V crown into the fourth jug through the heavy clothing barrier and pretty good expansion. So uh, we're going to test it now with the 3.7 inch uh, SIG. 115 grain SIG V crown 3.7 inch into uh, water gallons. Here we go. Okay then, well, I hit the cloth, blew apart the first one, went into the second one, went through the second one, blew apart the middle of the second one there, into the third, out the back of the third, there's the jacket sticking out the back of the third, the core went into the fourth, through the fourth, hit my clothing barrier, and landed there on the table. We'll dig them out and take a look. And there's the result of the 115 grain SIG V crown through the 3.1 inch into, um, excuse me, through the 3.7 inch SIG V crown 3.7 inch uh, test. Uh, we, we got the core all the way through the fourth, the jacket stuck at the back of the third jug, and there you have it. We'll measure it in at home. Okay, SIG V Crown 115 grain 9 millimeter. Again, through the 3.1 inch Ruger LC9S at about 10 to 12 feet. Right. Better shot placement right there in the middle. You can see it, uh, hopefully you can see that. There's actually some pretty good disruption in there. It goes through the first gel block into the second. And deep penetration, as it's all the way here. Let's flip this one around here. You can see this, but it's all the way here to the back of the second one here. Let me get the uh, measuring tape here. So maybe you can see this with the sun in the back, but that's how deep it made into that second gel block. So let's see here. First gel block is about, about nine inches deep. And then into the second one, another just about nine inches. So that's about 18 inches of penetration into the gel. So we'll dig that guy out here and take a look. Okay, so there's the 115 grain V crown through heavy clothing barrier, one layer of denim, layer of fleece, two layers of cotton t-shirt into the gel. Made it to about 18 inches in the gel. And there's the expansion. So we'll clean that off and we'll take it back home and measure uh, when we get back home. Okay, welcome back home here. Um, as you can see from the couple of prior uh, segments. The testing for this uh, SIG V Crown 115 grain ammo has been completed over two different testing days. Uh, the first one was a couple of weeks ago. Um, it was about 39 degrees outside and there was about a foot of snow on the ground. Today 
I was out at the range and it was about 75 and sunny and all the snow is gone. So slightly different uh, days at the range. Um, you can see the results. Um, um, if stay tuned here and uh, you'll see um, the results uh, that we uh, measure these up here. Um, this was the uh, result of the 115 grain um, through the 3.1 inch into jugs. This was through the 3.7 inch into jugs, this one here on the left. Then back here, um, as you see, this is the, the first round here where I started doing testing in gel, or at least the first video that I'll show you of where I've started using my own gel. Um, I cooked that up um, a couple of days ago and kept it in the fridge. Um, and I thought it went really well. Um, very pleased with the results from the gel testing. I, I plan to keep doing that as, as I think the results are probably more accurate um, and more repeatable than, than than milk jugs plus I already have the supplies and materials now um, I just put a short video up earlier about putting that together and my costs on that um, so again pretty inexpensive I think and, and hopefully uh, we'll get a lot of tests out of out of the batches um, but this was again the 3.1 inch uh, um, into the gel and this was uh, the 3.7 inch into the gel. I don't have video on that one. Um, I, I, I just run out of room to, to take so much video. Um, but as far as the, the depths on these, um, <clears throat> um, for the 3.1 inch into water jugs, that will got made it into the fourth water jug, the 3.7 inch. Um, the jacket was sticking out the back of the third and the core made it through the fourth and then bounced off the clothing backstop I have and or the cloth backstop I have and landed on the table. Through 3.1 inch gel, um, uh, it made it to about 18 inches in the gel and the 3.7 inch here made it to about 19 inches in the gel and all of these were through a heavy clothing barrier so uh, one layer of denim layer of fleece and two layers of, of cloth um, stay tuned and we'll weigh these up um, looks like we are right at 116 yeah so we uh, didn't lose any weight there uh, which is good and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll measure this up again pretty good expansion um, Pretty good penetration, and we'll just uh, get the, those uh, the widths there on that on that expansion here in just a second. Okay, here's as far as the uh, the widths on expansion, we got point five point five uh, five inches this way. We got uh, point five three inches this way. And we got 0.53 inches this way. So overall, pretty good expansion. Uh, again, this the bullet diameter is, I believe, it's 0.355 to start. So going 0.53, pretty good expansion. Okay, 3.7 inch barrel. The core weighs 86 grains. And then the jacket was another, lifted up to 116. So right at the no weight loss on that um, together, again, the, the core uh, didn't have great expansion and did separate through the milk jugs. Um, then with the, uh, the uh, through the gel, again, no weight loss there and some minimal expansion with the 3.1 inch barrel. And through the 3.7 inch barrel. Uh, again, no weight loss and, and a little bit better expansion. Um, all deep penetrators. So these uh, V-Crowns all had uh, good penetration uh, expansion on these. Here's the core through the 3.7 inch into milk jugs. And this does not have really big expansion on it at all. So 0.38. 3.8 and 0.37 inches for the core for the jacket which again did make it all the way through the third milk jug it was sticking out the back of the third milk jug 0.52 0.53 0.54 0.55 
0 0.53, 0 0.54 inches. Now for the gel, here's a 3.1 inch barrel. This one we had 0.44 inches, 0.45 inches, and 0.44 inches. Through the 3.7 inch barrel into the gel, we had, looks like, point. 0 0.52, 0 0.50, oh, oh, maybe 0 0.52, so 5.2 and 5.2, and right at 0.52 as well. So, um, better expansion with the longer barrel, of course. Uh, again, very good deep penetration on all of these. Um, that's that's what we got here. So for the 115 grain SIG V Crown, this is the bulk packaged 50 round boxes. So they're the again the brass case, not the uh, not the uh, nickel plated case, but the brass case. Um, depth was good. They they all penetrated as deep, maybe a little over penetration um, to some extent. Um, expansion was minimal, and we did have the one core jacket separation so in this price range uh, i think there's there's probably better options um but this is what you got um i hope you enjoyed the video and uh stay tuned for the next one there's again a lot more coming